we say all wins are big wins. And uh, that really was a very uh, big win for us. Um, I was so impressed with the way the players hung in there. We went through a lot of adversity. I'm sure most of you know uh, we were uh, delayed several times on Saturday night because of the weather. And we thought we were going to get it in at one moment, at one point, and they refused us. We got out there and got warmed up, and they sent us back inside, which forced us to go to Fedville, of all places, to spend the night. And uh, that, too, was very challenging. Uh, but the way these kids, you know, adjusted to adversity is amazing. And um, one of the things that we talked about was it's about the decisions you make after those adverse situations arise going to determine, uh, define who you are. And I thought they made some very good decisions. They stayed focused. They stayed in the moment. And um, we were able to uh, play. We, now, did we play well? No. But uh, I'm, I'm getting tired of saying this, too, playing well enough to win. But uh, it's time for us to play as well as we can. And uh, we'll continue to work towards that goal and hopefully get it accomplished uh, very soon. Disappointed with the amount of penalties. Uh, we have 14 penalties, and many of those um, in the first half. And I thought we was very sporadic in the first half, up and down. We did some good things, and uh, we did some not so uh, good things. And that, too, you know, will be addressed immediately. Uh, but again, uh, effort, the effort and the will to win and the determination, you know, to stay in there and fight is just amazing. And uh, I am so proud, so proud to be working with these young men. Well, you know, being a second get there, guy, I'm going to start there. We did not allow the ball to get behind us. Not one time did it throw over the top of us. And that's one of the things that we went out, we set out to do. Keep everything in front of us and uh, make them uh, drive the length of the field. Very few teams out field can do that on our defense. So we got that part accomplished. Um, the mental mistakes were minimized uh, as far as blocking assignments. I thought the O-line did a much better job getting a hat on a hat. And so I was improved. That was it. We improved in that area as well, and I was pleased with that. I thought the receivers caught the ball better. Uh, the quarterbacks threw the ball better. The timing of the routes improved. So there were some signs of improvement, uh, but much more to come, hopefully. I think it's stemmed from the, the work we put in. You know, we started in really January. When we got back in January, we started. I mean, legitimately working towards having a great year. And I thought um, they showed a lot of commitment and dedication over the summer. And we, we drew on that yesterday. It got hot out there. And we went back and talked about, you know, over the summer, you know, how we went through it over the summer, the things, that, the adversity, the heat, and all the stuff that uh, they faced over the summer. And um, they stood up to the test. Um, I'm going to just be grateful for that <laughs> and thankful. I think um, it's, it's a mentality, you know, it's a mentality and, and a belief system. And uh, we feel if we do the little things right, big things will happen for us. Yes, and I think um, Coach Barnett did a fabulous job in the second half. He really put things together uh, and concepts and strategies and allowed us to get some one-on-one -on -one situations. Uh, he was able to run the football and, and move people and get them to move people where we wanted them to be. And um, so my hat's off to him. I think that is our philosophy. You know, it's based around defense. Uh, I'm, I'm a true believer defense win championships. Uh, offense sell tickets. Uh, but offense helps a lot. So um, we may have to change that philosophy a little bit. But uh, I think it's very important, and I always have said, if they don't score, you can't lose. 
And uh, we we uh, we been several times yesterday, but I thought the kids, you know, they got tough when they had to, and they showed up when they had to, and we got them stopped and held them to field goals, and I thought that would pay off for us at the in the fourth quarter, which it did. Well, uh, that young man can play football. We all know that. He just happened to have Lamar in front of him. I think he can go to many other uh, institutions and be a starter, without a doubt. You know, and we're just fortunate to have him, and, and he understanding his role and playing his role to the fullest. And uh, when the opportunity arises, he show up. And uh, we often say that about everybody. Next man up. What was going through your mind on Max play, the, the pick six? Run, boy, run. <laughs> you know, uh, initially you, you wonder, you know, should you come out of the end zone in certain situations? But fortunately, he was already downhill. Um, so once he hit it and he got and I looked and saw the quarterback, I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, it, it was a joy to watch, you know. And, again, football player made football plays. And uh, to watch his growth and his development from um, game one to game two show uh, with the technique part of it, just the little stuff, you know, standing in his back pedal along, seeing the ball thrown, uh, the little, little things that really matters. Uh, I thought he got improved. Absolutely. Absolutely it does. Uh, it's, it's that um, releasing uh, you know, all the anguish and, and the hard work, you know, it's, the, it's a reward, you know. So uh, I look forward to doing that dance often. <laughs> I'm not a very good dancer. I just enjoy trying and sharing the moment. Well, they scored 52 points this weekend, you know. So that's, that's saying a lot. I don't care who you are, you know, and I don't care who you're playing. To score 52 points, that's saying you have some players. So uh, it's players or scheme, one or the other, or maybe a combination of both. So um, we're going to get started on them here where they are. I will get started at 1 o'clock. But uh, the coaches are right now, you know, breaking them down and finding out what they do well and um, coming up with a plan to attack. You know, uh, every year, teams change. They may add, delete, or Something going to be different. Rarely do you see a team do identically the same thing they did the previous year. So um, we'll find out what that might be and, uh, and prepare for it.